welcome back to my basement, beautiful, bubbly people. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany. I am the owner and creator behind Desert Bath Company, where I make all things handmade from bath bombs to body creams to scrubs. You name it, I probably make it. If you watched my last video, yes, I'm wearing the same clothes as my last video. That's because it's the same day that I made these cool lavender bath bombs. I usually try to make a couple hundred bath bombs in a week. Today I'm aiming to get about a hundred bath bombs pumped out. I've already got a little over 50 made, so we're halfway there. The next batch of bath bombs I'm making today are Spider-Man bath bombs. These do take quite a bit of time because of the way I choose to hand paint them. It is definitely time consuming, but as you watch the video, you'll see you don't have to paint them the way that I do. You could just mold them and sell them as well, but I like to go above and beyond. That's what my brand is known for, and I price them accordingly. So, kind of wish that I borrowed my sister's Spider-Man costume for this. She is a cosplay queen and she's got a really cool Spider-Man suit and I should have borrowed that for this, but hey, maybe next time. So let's get to making some Spidey bath bombs. Here is the Spider-Man mold we will be using. You can see there is a little bit of detail in here, so you will want your mix to be wetter. I have formulated my mix to be able to work perfectly with um, my environment here in Arizona and with vacuum form molds. Unfortunately, 3D printed molds just don't work well for me. Um, I've never had good luck with them and they're a lot more expensive and there's way less designs to work with. So I always choose the vacuum form molds. And for our colorant, we will be using this Bath Bomb Red Powder by Crafter's Choice. This is a Red 40 Lake, so you do not need to bloom your baking soda prior. The fragrance oil I'll be using is Butt Naked. It is a fruity scent that works well with a lot of kids style bath bombs. And I mean adults too, I love fruity scents. So this does have a little bit of vanillin in it. So keep in mind, if you're using a lighter colored bath bomb, it may start to turn a little brown over time. So we've got a whole batch of these. I had to kind of spin them around to get them all to fit on one tray. Looks like we have a total of 29 Spidey bath bombs. All right, let's grab some mica and let's get to painting. So the way I paint the bath bombs is just 99% alcohol and mica mixed together. Got to make sure it's the right consistency so that you get a nice thick layer on there so it's but it's not cakey and it's not also just like runny
several hours later and I'm finally done painting these Spider-Man bath bombs. This is the exact reason why I don't make these too often, but when I do, I enjoy the process. Usually I'll put on a movie or something and paint them. I think it took me roughly about two, two and a half hours maybe. I know, gasp, that's a long time for one tray of bath bombs, but I do this as a craft. Um, in addition to obviously as a small business. I will not be demoing one of these just because of the amount of time I spend making these and they literally fly off the shelf within a day. So I wanna make sure I have enough and as many as possible for customers to buy and to enjoy. So let's put these on our drying rack and then tomorrow they'll probably be ready to package. As always, thank you all again for joining me as this time we made Spider-Man bath bombs. If you have any questions or want to say hi, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time in my basement. Toodaloo!